see how this bank's power goes. <laughs> it's got like really quick throttle response. Yeah, it's hey everybody welcome back to the channel today we got a pretty cool install for you we have a banks pedal monster that we're going to be installing into the chevy colorado trail boss here we are we're up in michigan beautiful michigan um i'm gonna head to silver lake sand dunes but we are gonna see how this works to reduce input and pedal lag um i've heard from many people with the turbos um including the diesels um that the banks pedal monster is the best thing out there for it it will help reduce um the feeling of turbo lag right so what this does is it takes the sponge pedal out of your pedal and gives you more control because from the from the factory it's programmed with a delay from because they're pedal by wire right so it means you push the pedal sends a signal signal received opens throttle well this allows you to control that and it also is an onboard diagnostic tool so we're going to see what we get in the box real quick so obviously remove right this before you go to the dealership you're going to get the pedal monster with some uh, very easy inputs and you're going to have it it's going to connect directly to your obd and then you get some cool uh you get some cool uh pictures here so i just wanted to show you real quick on where it's going to go on the chevy colorado trail ball so right here this is what's gonna pop out, right? And then you're gonna replace that with the pedal. The, so this is gonna go into the pedal monster and the pedal monster is gonna go into this. And then the pedal monster will go into your OBD part, port. So should be a pretty easy install. Hard to kind of record it, but you have an idea now uh, where it's supposed to go. So let's get to it and get this thing installed and see how big of a difference there actually is. So we're gonna test out the, the banks here um, with my dad and uh, just to see if this is actually gonna do something. So um, it's laggy with stock, right? Normal stock. So we put it in um, Sport 3. So let's look at it. Whoa. <laughs> Way different. <laughs> so and I just, for, for the sake of of uh, testing, I'm bringing it back to stock. Stock. Whoa! You right. see that difference? Yeah. So the sport has like more pep to it. Yeah. So it allows <coughs> that connection. I hate that auto shut off. So again, sport just so you can feel it. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says there's a difference that's a big difference so you it, it almost it like reduces um so it, mm -hmm. yep it's gonna reduce that off uh, throttle lag that we're getting and it's a big difference so I've got it in track three. Oh yeah and the truck is learning how to shift still with it because the truck is gonna you know adapt to this so we're gonna turn around real quick I'm just gonna turn around right here That's fine. so let's, let's turn around a minute now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let you drive so you can feel the difference Let's switch out real quick. Just mind the cable to the left.
<clears throat> All right, hang on. I'm gonna switch it. So I'm gonna switch you back to stock, so you can feel the difference in here. Fuck. <laughs> so this is just stock, and now I want you to feel it up to the to the. I don't really want to floor it. No, you don't need to. You're going to feel a difference. So you're in stock right now. And then just give me your input whenever we switch it. So I'm going to switch it at the stop sign for you to uh, sport. And we're going to see how how you feel the differences. You know, since you've been driving for like 50 years. All right. So you felt the takeoff, right? Right. With it. Yeah, so we're yeah. going to switch you into sport. You're only at power three, so hang on, this guy looks like... And how far does the power go up on this bank? Uh, it goes all the way up to track 10. Oh boy, okay. So if you really wanted to have your throttle right then, right there, right at your foot, you can do that. Now, this is going to be a big difference, so you let me know your reaction to it. Holy crap. Okay, never seen five trucks turn down our road at the same time before. It's interesting. <laughs> Yeah, that's weird. All right, here we go. Did you notice that that difference? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's more. All right, so let's do this. Stop at our driveway, and we're gonna bring it up to power level like seven. Let's see what the difference is here. But do you feel like the throttles? Oh, uh, it's more responsive. Yeah, yeah it, it's it, there. I don't know if I feel a lag in the stock throttle, but I can feel it's like more it's, peppier. It's yeah, it's spongy in the stock. So we'll see three. All right, now we're at eight. We're at eight. like a little race car now <laughs> yeah so <clears throat> so there is a noticeable difference here oh sorry uh there is a noticeable difference so we are in uh sport eight and it's night and day difference um from your spongy stock slow responsive throttle um uh, and then you put on this bank's pedal monster and it's just it's it's so interesting the difference because i've been driving this for a long time i immediately noticed it this is the first time um my dad has driven this truck um because you know we're in um you know we're in virginia they're in michigan here but uh what a big difference the, the banks is compensating for that pedal lag, which is ideally what we wanted it for. I didn't want to have to smash my pedal to pass someone on the highway, or if I'm going up uh, the sand dune hill, I don't want to have to bury my foot in the pedal in order to get that, you know, that power out of it. So what we're gonna do is we're just testing this out, having a little fun. <laughs> That's fun, huh? And now we're going through the orchard. Here, let me turn that traction control off for you. Now it's off. Um, and you can see our, <laughs> our response. So we are out in the orchard right now. Just remember you're top heavy with this thing on. See how this bank's power goes. <laughs> it's got like really quick throttle response. Yeah, it's super. Though. Well, I have your power level turned up, so let me. Careful. Let's just say environmental. Environment. Okay, I got it. You can only change the power level at from a stop. Ah, that's. And we're still at eight. Now. Yeah, yeah, you're still at. 
<laughs> that's pretty good, right? Yeah, it is. There is a difference <laughs> in a, that for sure. There's a heck of a difference. I mean, without even having to floor it, you can you can just push on it a little bit, and it's like go. <laughs> right. So I guess the, the my my point was was I wanted to get rid of. It's not necessarily getting rid of your turbo lag, but your throttle is right there when you need it when you want it. Um, there's no sponge or delay in it, which is really nice. So. <clears throat> Um, I'll get careful. You might spin on this cross if you're not careful. So, you know, at the end of the day, guys, um, this Banks pedal monster is awesome. This is just a, a, a quick review. Um, I wanted to do is a very easy install. As you've seen, it's, you basically unplug the sensor and plug the banks in, um, into each side and plug it into the, um, OBD port and you're done and that's it. And you sync it with your phone for Bluetooth and you're done and you have uh, all the power that you want at the at the foot tips of your feet <laughs> so you can get all that power right then and then when you're at a stop we can go ahead and switch this back down to like let's say city and um, if you do want that stock response every last little tiny sip of gas then you bring it back to stock and you're good just remember to remove this before you get to the dealer though it does not change your ecu or anything what this is doing is sending this input signal to the throttle to have a better response um, and it does do that and it does it very well all right everyone so we are talking about the banks pedal monster now why is this important um i felt like there was a big delay in my pedal uh, it was spongy. I was thinking, gosh, with the high output tune, 310 horsepower, 435 pounds of torque, why don't I feel like it has it? I kind of did, but really I was like, man, I really got to get into that pedal. Well, we got item number 64310, as you can see here. And again, that is the Banks Pedal Monster. I was extremely skeptical myself about getting this, um, but um, thank goodness I did. So I will tell you firsthand, and I'm not kidding when I say this, it works. Um, you've got stock, city, sport, and track options, and then from zero to 10 levels on, on each of those besides stock. And um, it's important to note that when I was operating at the dunes and I was on sport seven, I mean, I had immediate power. So that power was at my foot. I didn't have to dig into the throttle and that power was on command. And I think that's really important when you pay a lot of money for a vehicle and yet it comes from the factory, you know, with those spongy pedals. Okay. So with the banks, you're going to get that power on command that you paid for. Um, and I think that's really important. Might not be important to you. It's important to me. I didn't buy this to get 30 miles per gallon. Okay. I bought it for the ability to go off road and have that power and use it as a trail boss, uh, like it's intended. So um, I have to say uh, the Banks uh, did a great job. I went with Banks over every other uh, pedal um, uh, throttle controller because Banks has been around for a long time. I have uh, did a lot of research, a lot of reviews, um, how it goes in, how it connects to the OBD port versus just connecting uh, to the pedal sensor itself. Um, the OBD supplies more power, so you're not ever going to run into the issue of limping your system out like the pedal commanders have done to many people in the past. Um, so you will not find it doing that with this. It doesn't imprint on your ECU, uh, and you can just uninstall it before going to a dealer visit, and then you can reinstall it. It's as simple as two plugs. Plug in the sensors, and then plug it into the OBD, and it's really that simple. Let's check out the app real quick so you know exactly what I'm talking about. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, it's going to be up here. We're going to do a screen recording um, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about and what it looks like on screen for you. All right, so I'm going to show you how exactly this is going to be working. So with this, um, you're going to see a screen recording here wherever we can fit it. I just want to show you how it connects. So I'm going to go ahead and start the truck up. And I'm gonna start my screen recording here, just so um, you can see. How this is gonna work. So basically you're gonna start the truck up, it's connected to the OBD, and uh, you're gonna be good to go. 
So once this happens, we're going to go over to the Banks app and we're going to get inside the Banks app. It's going to connect to the Pedal Monster via Bluetooth to your phone and then we're going to be here. As you're going to see, I am in uh, City 3 right now, but I want to show you what you're able to do. So you have a stock option and I'm going to show you it here. Right, so it's just the foot and you can see from the bottom to foot is all of that pedal lag. Now if you do city, uh, you have this and you can see the foot and the banks. You can see how banks gives you that little edge in the city. Um, where it's very noticeable is gonna be the sport uh, here. So you can see here to from my foot to the banks pedal monster, you can see there's a difference. Though it looks like a small difference, it's, it's very much um, not. It is a big difference when you're driving the vehicle. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it up and you're gonna see how big of a difference that really is. Right, little bit of foot, lots of power. Um, let me dial that back down a second. Um, and then when you hit over to track, it's gonna be even more so power, right? So look on that screen there. A lot of, uh, lot of power with a little bit of foot. You have immediate power. Now, um, I'm going to switch it back to city for our sake, and I'm going to go ahead and shut it down, but it's literally that simple. Actually, let me show you something else here. So you've got settings, diagnostics, uh, diagnostics recalibrate, and what that is, it's going to give you all this. If you want to recalibrate it, you'll turn the truck into just accessory mode on, push the pedal twice, just like that you're recalibrated it's very simple and very effective so um overall i just wanted to let you guys know that in my personal opinion after driving this truck for 10,000 plus miles going to the mountains doing the off-roading doing kind of like medium little rock crawling going to the sand dunes and remember the sand you need that power um and I couldn't, I didn't want to have any lag in my pedal. I didn't want to bury my foot to the floor. So having this bank system, it was a completely, it was a game changer uh, for the ability to have that power on command. And um, I'm not trying to sell banks. I'm not sponsored by banks. And this is just my personal opinion to y'all. If you want the power you paid for, check it out. All right. It is worth checking out. I'm only recommending banks because it's the safest it's the safest version of these products um, and it's going to prevent any issues in the uh, that all the other competitors uh, seemingly have. Banks has been in the industry for a long time. It's a quality product and it's a good bang for your buck, especially if you're doing what I'm doing. If you're just city driving your truck, you don't need it, right? If you're off-roading and you need that power where you need it, like when you sink in sand and I'm like, I don't want to delay. Remember, it doesn't reduce... It doesn't get rid of turbo lag, but it makes your throttle more responsive. So it gives you the feeling of that reduced lag, right? And you, you actually have a sense of a reduced lag. I'm not, an, I'm not an, um, of course, an uh, automotive engineer or anything like that. But when I wanted to push the pedal and the power was there, I didn't have to wait for that turbo to spool up. The engine responded immediately because of the banks. So um, that's my two cents, y'all. I really appreciate you watching. I'll throw the link below for the product I have. It was specifically for the 2023 Colorado. I believe it works with GM products. Don't take my word on it. Go to the bank's uh, website, put in your truck and your model and your year and your engine, and it will give you uh, the exact one you need. But if you want your power on command, um, you can't go wrong with this. And I was, again, I was skeptical and it completely uh, proved me wrong. My dad's been a truck driver for 40 years. He's been driving and he's like, you know, I don't know about those. And um, I let him drive it in stock versus sport. And he's like, golly, it looks like it, it turns into a race car. So um, not to make this video too long. Uh, again, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful for some of you guys and gals out there that have these and just you don't want that lag anymore and you just want to get into it and you want to have some fun with your truck. And this can help you do that. Thank you.